folks, this is Tom with Outdoors and Country Living again. You can see here that I have my uh, 40 ton log splitter and I wanted to show something. So Ronnie with Early Bird Farms SC had asked me a question. And Ronnie, I'm gonna answer your question. So typically with these, these types of attachments, when you have them on a tractor or a Plutters Ranger or a truck or whatever, you have some a fair amount of tongue weight. So like this, I mean, I'm a big guy, right? I'm fairly strong, but you have a fair amount of weight here with this this log splitter you got a cast iron beam or a steel beam and cylinder and uh, you got to flip these feet up so then it puts me in a position to where yeah there's a handle here but then i'm extending myself out to try to get this onto the ball and uh, you know you can hurt your back there's a lot of things that can happen so um probably about a year ago i, I purchased an attachment and this is what i'm going to show you it's uh It goes on, it's like a receiver hitch. It goes on your quick hitch. So I just take it, drop it on there, lower my levers, and that'll lock it in. And then that gives me a two inch receiver hitch on my tractor that works off my three point um, arms. If you need more ground clearance, you can get a drop hitch and flip it over and that'll raise it up more. But I wanted to show you guys how this works real quick. I wanted to move this closer to my wood if I was splitting wood or I had a pile that was locked up, um, I could just easily back up, put this where I want it. I can lower it, All right? I can get the tractor out of the way if I needed to. And then I could back up and I'm trying to move it. I'm ready to go, I can go put it away. So obviously, if I start driving down the road, you know, you'd want to latch, latch the hitch, um, but just moving around the yard or, you know, your farm or whatever, you'd be fine unless you're going real fast and they started to bounce and come off. But um, Ronnie, if you need anything, any details on this, I'll include the link off of Amazon where I ordered it. I did get the heavy duty one, it's a two inch tubing. Um, it's got this ring on there for, for chains. You can put a hook on it. So if you wanted to pull tree stumps or something, you could have a hook there. It's been pretty good, I like it. So, so just to give you guys a little more information to show you, this is just a standard two inch receiver that that's on this. So you could put, you know, if you had a ball or a hook or a pinnel hitch or whatever it was you wanted to put on there, you could, and you know, like I stated, if you need to get more height out of it, but when you lift, you could put a drop hitch on upside down, right? Now to give you some more height on it. Um, a lot of options. It's easy. It's, it's you know easy to connect. Um, we'll put this pin in. And then when I'm ready to take it off, right? I can raise my quick hitch lever, and I just take this piece, and it's off. And I put this away, and I'm good to go. Hook up my bush hog or whatever I need. Put it on. That's it. I'm good to go. So I'll uh, include the link for Amazon. I think that's where I got it in the description so you guys can check it out. All right. Thank you.
So let's say you've had a long, hard day. You've worked all day. You've split wood. You've cut wood. Um, and you realize that it's come to the end of the day, your working day. Do you need to put your log splitter away before it rains or snows or whatever? So usually, like I showed, you have to muscle this thing around to get it put on a hitch. Or you have an attachment for your quick hitch. And I'll show you how I take care of it. A lazy man's way right there back up raise your hitch and uh, back it in the barn or wherever you're gonna put it so again that's why I have the attachment on the quick hitch uh, it's been handy I recommend it it'll save you some backache and heartache and if I can be of any help or assistance and give you information just let me know thanks for watching have a great day